Hey everyone, this is Tripsy. I'm back with another tutorial that will be focusing on creating a collection using custom smart contracts. When you are creating a collection using a smart contract, you create a provenance on the blockchain. That is, you give your NFTs a place of origin on the blockchain using your custom smart contract. Using smart contracts, you also benefit by saving gas fees on each NFT that is minted. So yeah, let's get started. Before we create a collection page, we need to know a couple of things. First is where will we store our NFTs? For that, we have IPFS, which is a distributed system for storing and accessing files, websites, applications, and other data. IPFS storage system is truly decentralized and it's not governed by just one organization, but rather by its own users. There is a term called pinning in IPFS. Pinning is defined as making an IPFS file available on demand on the IPFS nodes. For this purpose, we will be using Pinata, a remote pinning service that allows us to store our IPFS data, in our case our NFTs, on their IPFS nodes, which are available all the time. Let's begin by creating an account on Pinata. I already have an account made here. Let's set up our NFTs and its metadata folder on Pinata Cloud. Metadata are stored in JSON files and each NFT has its own metadata. The contents of the metadata is displayed on the website when the corresponding NFT is minted. It usually consists of name, description, the hash of the NFT stored on IPFS network, and properties and values if any. We have to keep in mind that the IPFS hash included in the metadata file has to be of the NFT folder to which we will assign the details here. Now before we upload, I have the NFTs and its corresponding metadata files named in a sequence so that I know which JSON files belongs to which NFT. Let's begin by uploading the NFT folder on Pinata. Let's click on Upload, select Folder. Now we will select the location where our NFT is stored in. We will select the folder. In my case, it's Pencil Collection and upload the entire folder on Pinata. I will name the file Pencil Collection and click on Upload. Once my file is uploaded, it will show up on Pinata you can see here my NFT folder is showing on Pinata with a CID beside it. It's a unique hash assigned to this folder. Now we will open each JSON file and add the image link or hash in the JSON file. So I just copied the JSON, uh, image hash and I will paste it right here and save the file. The JSON file is being instructed to assign the data in the file to an NFT whose name is 0.png or 1.png or 2.png and it's stored in the hash mentioned. Any text editor should be able to do it. I am using Notepad++ for this purpose. Make sure to remove the extension from JSON files, otherwise the NFTs won't be displayed on the platform. Now let's upload our metadata folder on Pinata Cloud. We'll select our folder and upload it on Pinata Cloud. Let's name it Pencil Collection JSON. Now that we have figured out where we'll be storing our NFTs and its metadata, it's time to move on to creating a collection page on our platform. See you guys there. All right, now that we are here on our platform, let's create a collection. 
and add all the necessary details here. Now at the bottom, you will see a button called deploy your smart contract. Turn it on and click continue. Now in contract name, you can name your contract anything you want. I'm going to name it pencil collection. In contract symbol, I will name it PC. Since I have a total supply of 10 NFTs, I'm writing 10. Set the minting price. I will set it to 0.1 BNB and I will set the royalty to 5%. There is another button at the bottom called Revealable Contract. We will talk about it later. Now let's copy and paste the IPFS hash of our metadata folder that we uploaded on Pinata Cloud. I have copied it and I will paste it right here. Now that everything is done, I will click on Create Collection. So as you can see, our smart contract collection page is created, but it's not deployed yet. We have different tabs present here. The Roadmap tab to add the collection roadmap with all sorts of formatting present. You can add image, video, you can even add a code. Then we have the minting tab where collectors can come and mint the NFTs. Since the smart contract has not been deployed yet, the sale is not active. And at the end, we have the stats tab to see all the statistics of the NFTs. Now let's deploy our smart contract collection. This transaction will incur you some gas fees so make sure you have enough BNBs in your MetaMask wallet. Let's sign the transaction and wait for deployment. You should be getting a message saying contract deployed and you should be able to see the contract address on BSC scan. Now that we have deployed the smart contract collection, let me show you how it will look when an NFT is minted. Once the NFT is minted, you will be able to see it on the items tab of the collection with all the metadata that we added in the JSON file, including the properties and the values. Once you start making sales, you will want to withdraw funds by clicking on the withdraw funds button. Click on it and then sign the transaction on your wallet. Once done, all the funds will be transferred in your wallet. And in this case, since we will be showing a common NFT to all our collectors on the platform and a common metadata, we will need just one NFT picture prior reveal and one metadata file prior reveal. Since we are using one common NFT picture and one common NFT metadata, we have to add something that does not give away too much information of our underlying NFTs, our actual NFTs. So I have added pencil XXXX because I don't want my collector to know which token he or she will be getting. And your NFT picture can be something very similar to your collection project, but it should not be an actual NFT. Now that we have both the folders ready, let's upload it. I will upload my NFT before reveal folder on Pinata Cloud. Copy the CID of prior reveal NFT folder from Pinata Cloud and paste it in your metadata file and add it in a folder and upload it on Pinata Cloud.
Now repeat the process of creating a collection, but this time turn on revealable contract. This is a very important step for revealable contract. If you mess this up, the damage will be irreversible. So follow carefully. In IPFS hash, you have to copy the file CID, not the folder CID, file CID of the metadata file you uploaded on Pinata. To view the file CID, you need to click on the metadata folder, then click on the file hash and it will open in a new tab. In the URL, you will be able to see the file hash. Copy it and paste it in IPFS hash on collection creation page. Deploy your smart contract collection just like you did before. And this time when the NFTs are minted, they will show up as the common NFT image and metadata we had set up. Once all your NFTs are minted, you can reveal them by using the IPFS hash of a separate metadata folder in which your actual NFT data is stored. Create your actual NFT folder and their actual metadata folder on Pinata Cloud just like we did before for non revealable smart contract. For this tutorial, I'm using the same IPFS hash I used for non revealable collection to reveal my NFTs in this particular case. To reveal your NFTs, click on Reveal NFTs and then update your IPFS hash with the metadata folder of the actual NFTs. Once updated, click on Sync, refresh the page and then open an NFT and click on Refresh button at top right corner. Your NFTs will start revealing itself since we have updated the IPFS hash now. It may take some time for actual image to load up. So do not worry, it will eventually reveal itself. That's it for this video guys. If you have any doubts, please join our Discord server. Our community is very active there. You will definitely have your queries resolved regarding this feature and uh, see you guys next time until then have a great day and happy minting